you guys. Just one second. Hi guys. Sorry about that. Hi everybody. It's Amy with A2Z Stamping doing my weekly live video. Sorry, my, my little thing that holds my cameras right in my face. I'm going to move this in a little bit. There we go. Hi, guys. How's everybody doing? I hope you're having a good week. Things have been crazy around here. I was dealing with sick children for the last week. And uh, my younger son, Caden, he had just a really bad head cold, really stuffed up and all that. In fact, on Wednesday, he sent me a text and he said, Mom, can you bring me some cold medicine and some tissues? And I said, well, doesn't the school have tissues? And he said, not good tissues. So of course I drove over there because you know, kids cannot have any medications in school. So I drove over there to give him um, some cold medicine and uh, brought him some better tissue. He's finally doing better. That cold is lingering on. My older son, Jackson was so sick. He was running about 103 fever for five days in solid, was not getting better. His tonsils were huge. I took him to the doctor three different times last week. Well, Saturday was the last time I took him, so three days ago. And they were certain that he had mono. And I'm so grateful that he does not. I got the test results today. He does not have mono, which is a good thing. It wouldn't have been the end of the world. However, he would have had to have been done with baseball for the season. And if you know my child, he eat, sleeps, and breathes baseball. So that would have been devastating to him. So he does not have it and he's feeling much better, but oh my goodness, it totally threw my whole week off. Oh, I even see my oldest is home from school. So hopefully he won't bug us, but that's okay if he does, he's allowed to. So he, we've been dealing with that and I'm way behind on everything, but I wanted to do my live video today. I don't have a whole bunch to tell you about, but I do want to do a demonstration of these cute little boxes, our little pizza boxes. Did you guys remember we have these? And I made up this cute one and I know it's backwards to you, but with the dandelion wishes stamp set. So I'll show you that in just a minute. But uh, before I do that, I just want to remind you guys real quick. I don't have a class this week. I will have a class next week. I will post it on Monday and the class is going to be the Another Wonderful Year stamp set. So this is a brand new stamp set in the 2018-19 annual catalog and it's going to be backwards too but I wanted to show you. It comes in two cases um, and it's all sentiments. You can see that and um, I love stamp sets that are all sentiments because we always need them. Let me just tell you what what is on this. So we have Just a Friendly Hello, Best Dad Ever, Congratulations, we're so happy for you. Love you more, you are invited, greatly appreciate all you do. So that's in one case. And the other case has celebrate another wonderful year. There's a thank you, that's adorable. Thinking of you, merry and bright. So that'll be, um, you could even, you could use that for Christmas cards, which is what it's intended for. And everything I am, you help me to be. And again, I know this is going to be backwards to you, but I wanted to show you the fonts are so cute and they're all different. There's cursive, there's, block letters. So this is what the class is going to be next week. And we will be making uh, three different cards. And I've uh, designed them in a way that you could change these sentiments if you want. So you could do, um, instead of making two of each card, you could make, um, you could change the sentiments and have six different cards uh, if you like. So be watching for this next Monday. Um, it's going to be the Another Wonderful Year class. All right, so I think you guys, I'm just gonna get straight to the demonstration. Anything you wanna know, um, you can find on my blog, a2zstamping.com. I did post um, the, the paper pumpkin video for June. I've always made my own paper pumpkin video, and then I thought, why am I creating a video when Stampin' Up! and Paper Pumpkin puts out a really great video showing the kit for the month. So I posted that on my blog, a2zstamping.com and on my Facebook group, A2Z Stamping, if you guys wanna see the unboxing. So it's too late to get the June kit if you're not currently a subscriber. The only way you can still get the June kit refills is if you're currently a subscriber. But the nice thing is, sorry guys, my allergies, goodness. You can sign up now to receive the July kit and you would need to sign up before July 10th. 2018. But all that information is on my blog if you're interested. <coughs> also, uh, Stampin' Up's going to be having a paper sale coming up in July. Um, I'll give you guys more information probably next week on my live video. So um, 
if you uh, love to collect the paper like I do and uh, stock up on it, and I'm talking about the designer series paper, then stay tuned for that. But I think I'm just gonna flip you guys around and I'm gonna show you how to do these cute little boxes. So let me see if I can, there we go. And let me just hook you in right here. All right, and I'm actually gonna move you down just a tiny bit. Okay, so again, I'm gonna show you how to make this cute little box. Isn't this cute? Um, using our little pizza boxes, and I forget about these, which these are so great to have on hand because they make a very quick gift. I'm actually <coughs> planning to get, we have a little uh, shop in town called Sweet Necessities that makes the best caramels, the best salted caramels. There's habanero caramels and jalapeno and lavender, just all different kinds of caramels. And I'm planning to get um, those to go in this box. They fit, I can get, I think eight of them in this box perfectly. So let me just show you. All right, so I'm going to need my, well, the pizza boxes. So they come in a pack like this and you get eight in a package. So when they come, they're just flat like this. So they're easy to store and they're actually quite easy to put together. So what I do is there's like a glossy side and a non-glossy side. If I'm gonna put food in it, I like the glossy side to be on the inside. But if I'm not putting food, like if I'm putting maybe little three by three cards or something that's in a packaging, um, <coughs> for instance, the caramels will be in a wrapper, then it doesn't really matter what side is on the inside. But for today, we'll put the glossy side in. So just go ahead on all these score lines and go ahead and you want to score everything. And the score lines are already done for you, so it's really quite simple, but give them all a fold. Okay, and then to put it together, what you wanna do, so I'm gonna start with, it doesn't really matter what end you start with, but this is gonna, actually, let me put the little tabs in first, that would help. So these little tabs go in and this, these flip over. Come on, and these will just poke in, there's like little slots that they go in. This tab goes in here and then the box just folds shut. It's really that simple. There we go. So see, cute little pizza boxes. And again, they're um, a little, what are they? Three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Let me grab my ruler just to make sure. The box itself, three and a half. Three and a half by three and a half squares. So they're perfect for our little like three by three um, note cards if you wanted to make someone a set of those. But really a cookie fits in here really well. There's all kinds of things. <coughs> A gift card, these are perfect to put a gift card in with some tissue. All right, but the best part about these is decorating them. And of course you could just stamp your box if you want, but I like to make um, kind of like a little belly band to go around it. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna start with a piece of cardstock and I have Tranquil Tide cardstock here. And of course I didn't write down any measurements. So sorry guys, bear with me. So this is cut at two and a half by 11. So two and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. It really doesn't matter what you use. This is just the colors I'm going with. And I'm gonna grab my trimmer out because I need to do a little bit of scoring. And remember our trimmer has our cutting blade and our scoring blade. So I'm going to score this at two and a half. So just put it in and score it at two and a half, three and a half, seven and a quarter. So I need to just open my little arm up here. Seven and a quarter and eight and a quarter. Okay, and that's all I need that. And now I can just score it with my fingers, it's fine. But the, with these measurements, it will fit around my pizza box perfectly. So just like so, this should be exactly the width I want to fit around my box, perfect. And I want it to close at the bottom so I'm not gonna adhere this to the uh, pizza box. I'm actually going to, um... oh, you know what I need to do? See these little, this little tab that's sticking out? That is causing me trouble. So I'm actually gonna push it, I'm actually gonna push it inside. There we go, there we go. That was sticking out, causing my belly band trouble. Okay, there we go, now this should fit much better. So I'm just gonna, I want this to be able to slide on and off. So I'm going to grab my adhesive and I'm just going to put a piece of on here, okay, and line it up and press it shut. Now see, uh, this can still slide on and off. Um, that's what I mean by a belly band, there we go. So there's my first section. 
All right, so then I wanted some designer series paper just to pull in a bunch of colors. So I pulled from the Nature's Poem designer series paper pack, uh, this paper right here. So it, it's just stripes and it's got Tranquil Tide. I think it's got Grapefruit Grove in there. I'm not even sure of all the colors, um, but I liked this. Uh, the other side looks like this, these leaves. And this is just cut at three by three. And I'm going to stick this right over the top. So we stick some adhesive on here and this is gonna go right like so okay and then I'm going to grab some ribbon I'm gonna tie the ribbon on first so this is the brand new what are we calling this <coughs> mini ruffled ribbon in tranquil tide it looks just like this isn't this cute and I want it to go all the way around. Let's see, how long of a piece do I need? You could totally do this with any designer series, like change up the colors you use and the ribbon and stuff like that, the designer series paper, and you could create a whole bunch of these really for any um, occasion that you need. This one's just kind of generic. And I'm going to put a bow up here at the very top. Fix this in just a second. Seriously, guys, tying the bow is the hardest part. Okay, this ruffled ribbon is so fun. It reminds me of that ruched ribbon we had a couple years ago. I loved that in the in colors. This reminds me of that a bit. Okay, let me just pull that tight and it's gonna go right in the center. Oh, we don't need to fuss too much and this end will be a little bit shorter. Okay, but then we need to put our sentiment and our stamping. So I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna be using the Dandelion, Dandelion Wishes stamp set. I love this. I'm going to be doing a class with this probably, I think in July. <clears throat> so watch for that if you love this stamp set. Um, it's got sending well wishes your way, wishes for a lifetime of love and happiness. And then this is when I saw this, I had to get it. I made a wish and you came true. I say that to my son, Caden, all the time. And then it's got these dandelions, so pretty. So I'm actually gonna stamp the set of three dandelions this right here and I'm gonna do the sending well wishes your way so let's see I should have a piece of white whisper white cardstock here and let me see what size it is this is three and a quarter by two and a half and I will remind you right now that um, I give all of the uh, products I use and the dimensions and everything on my blog always for my live videos a 2 zstampingcom usually um, it's posted there about an hour after this video ends uh, since I don't go back and edit my live videos and the information's not on the screen, you can find it on my blog. All right, so I have this piece of Whisper White cardstock and I have the three dandelions here and I'm gonna stamp them in the Grapefruit Grove. Let me pop that open since we wanna bring in the Grapefruit Grove color there. And I'm just gonna ink this up and I need a piece of scratch paper. I can't even find, I'm just gonna use this. I know, don't tell gonna use that because I'm gonna stamp off a tiny bit and let's see three lines there we go so I'm gonna stamp this right about here perfect there we go that didn't stamp off too much isn't that so cute the dandelions all right and then I'm going to grab my close this up tranquil tide ink and I'm gonna stamp the sentiment oh now my younger son is home we'll see if he comes in here let me ink this up and I'm just gonna stamp that right in the center sending well wishes your way perfect all right and now I'm going to stick some dimensionals on the back of this hey buddy what are you doing I'm doing a live video right now so Hello. Okay, so I'm gonna stick some dimensionals on the back here. And I'm just about done, Kate, so just a minute. And I'm going to peel this off. I knew he'd come in. All right. And this is gonna go right here on the top, like so. And that is my cute little
pizza box. Isn't that so cute? So see how just these simple what little white boxes, you can make them work for any occasion. Um, they're especially cute for um, Christmas time, Halloween time, anytime you need to give a gift. But wouldn't this be perfect for putting gift cards in? Oops, there we go. My ribbon is twisted. We will fix that. Let's twist it back. There we go, no one will ever know. Perfect. But aren't these so cute, these little pizza boxes? And you guys, the uh, best part is, I actually have a video from last, gosh, it might've been sometime in December, but you can run these uh, through your the, the, through the Big Shot and emboss them. I put an embossing folder like right over the top part and run it through, so cute. So you can emboss them too if you'd like. And again, in the package, you get uh, eight of them. So these would make fun little uh, party favors and stuff like that too. And let me show you the one I did earlier. Here it is. So there they both are. Aren't they so cute? Sending well wishes your way. I love it. So anyway, I think that's all I've got for today. <laughs> Hi, Tina. Uh, that's all I've got for today. I know it's a short little video, but I have a lot of catching up to do. So uh, anyway, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them on my Facebook group or send me an email and I'd be happy to answer them for you. And um, if you signed up for my delightfully detailed class last week, um, I am getting that all packaged up and should have it in the mail, uh, hopefully tomorrow. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you pop on over to my YouTube channel, I'd love it if you'd subscribe or if you know anyone who would like my YouTube channel, um, have them subscribe to my page. You'll never miss a video. So anyway, that's all I got guys. And I will see you next week. Thanks.